Hi everybody, it's Lynn here again and I'm now going to do a broadcast with Joe. This is actually the second in a series of um, interviews with local business owners and um, we are going to, we are scheduling a whole series of, um, uh, sorry, um, b uh, interviews with local business owners so that a lot of you can get to know a lot more of them. Um, find out what they do, sometimes find out the interesting story behind what they do so that that actually, um, you know, there's a lot of interesting stories behind a lot of the local business owners. Sometimes it's quite obvious. It might be that they took over a business that was a family business. Sometimes um, there's some really interesting stories behind that. So in this series of interviews, I shall be talking to lots of local people and um, I will... Um, Sorry, I will be um, finding out all those interesting stories for you, finding the links as to how you can link with these people. And um, if you run a business and you'd like to be interviewed, then please, um, jo uh, you know, please drop me a link and let me know. Um, and so I'm just going to share this broadcast so that we've got more people coming in. Sorry, <laughs> I'm pulling funny faces on here. Not very good. <laughs> so actually, uh, yes. So um, hopefully in a second or two, my guest today will be joining us in the broadcast. Um, this is this feature is a new new feature of Facebook. Facebook Live has been around a long time, but now having this feature of being able to bring in um, business owners into an interview while I'm sitting here and the person I'm interviewing is sitting somewhere else either wherever they happen to choose um, and we can actually come into the broadcast side by side and so um, short, shortly uh, hopefully Jo will be joining us on the um, here she is she's come into the I can see that she's just arrived here on live on the broadcast um, and so I am just going to invite her in um, we are sharing this this broadcast to lots of our platforms so that lots more people can see it. Anybody watching in, please, can you also share so that more people can join us? So, um, right, without further ado, I'm going to invite Joe into the broadcast. So, oh, how do I get him? Hang on. So hopefully Joe will have a good connection there and will be joining us any minute now. And here she comes. Hello, Joe. Hi. Hi, it's a little bit dark. Right. There we hang go. on a hang on a That's sec. Better. Hang on a sec. Hi Joe, can you hear me? Hi, yeah. All right, so I'm on the phone rather than the microphone and the earphones. Got my technology wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Just sort That's of, all right. Now I can hear you, and you can hear me. That's Hi. great. So, um, so how are you doing? Good day. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing okay. Everything's sort of settled down now. I'm been quite uh, yeah. not so busy today. <laughs> Okay, so right. Well, let's let's give you a proper introduction. And um, you and I have known each other for well, I don't know how many years. We've known each other quite a lot of years. And I knew you when you were in a former life, didn't I? And now I've been really, you did, um, yeah, really pleased to meet you um, and find out that you ha um, are making a dream. So please tell That's us right. more about how you got into making a dream and you know what making a dream really is. <laughs> Okay, well, to begin with, I've always been um, into art and doing artistic things from a very early age. <laughs> and I've worked within the art area, both sales and actually selling my own art. Um, but how I started the business was I did my own wedding decorations three years ago on the 26th. And oh, happy um, anniversary! Then I, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and then I I did a few more parties and wedding decorations for people in the family and friends, and they kept badgering me to start my own business. You should do this as a business. Go for it, you know. And I was doing mm -hmm. cleaning at the time, which was very exhausting, and uh, it didn't always fit in with school and things like that. Um. So I thought, why not? What have I got to lose? So I started up the business just over a year ago. 
and it mm -hmm. is basically decorating for any event that can be a birthday, an anniversary celebration. She's frozen. I've done Hang on a sec. <laughs> Um, and it's basically to try and make everybody's dream, what they dream in their head they want for the decorations, I try and make that a reality, make it come true but, for them. Okay, but I expect there's some people who don't know what they want. You know, sometimes they don't know what they want or what's available. Yep. Um, yep. So then I presume sometimes. you sit and have a discussion with them about what you yep. can do you know, around that. Is that is, is, has that happened? Yeah, it has happened twice now, um, whereby mm -hmm. we just go through colours first. Um, maybe mm -hmm. there's a particular flower they like or, or there's a theme that they want to do, but they don't know how to start it. They, have, they do, really don't know. So I do sketches and I take the sketches along with me for the appointment and mm -hmm. we run through whether they like anything on that if there's certain things they like, but they want to change it a little bit. I'm very flexible. <laughs> um, and then I'll actually take a photo of a piece, say it's a centerpiece, sent to via message or email. And then they can say whether they like that and they want to go ahead with costing. That's all done. Um, with their budget in mind as well as what I'm producing uh, and if they're happy with that then we we run with that and it's it turns out very good mm -hmm. so um, I know that you had a wedding the other day didn't you in fact you had a busy yeah. weekend last weekend tell us about your weekend last weekend because it was quite a busy one wasn't it yeah, um, starting off from Monday was the second meeting with um, one of the coordinators for the first Isle of Wight Gay Pride and they were desperate for somebody to do some decorations for them for the after party at the balcony and ride and the main stage. Um, so I set about getting all the things that I needed to decorate those two places. Um, obviously discussing it with the coordinator quite closely with, with everything that I had planned. Um, and he was very happy to go with, with what I came up with. Um, so on Friday morning, I decorated the balcony um, for the after party. Then I went for an appointment with the couple and the celebrant Jenny Law. Um, at Apley Beach to discuss the final arrangements for the wedding the next day. Um, then I went back to the Pride Village, which was in the process of being all set up, um, to wait for the main stage to be decorated by myself, um, which ended up being a rather long process, unfortunately. I was there till quarter to 11 that night. And on the Thursday night, I was actually still sewing the material together for the main stage at four in the morning, Friday morning. So <laughs> I'd actually effectively only had three hours sleep. <laughs> um, and then, of course, on the Saturday was the wedding on the beach at Apley, which was absolutely magnificent. And what was good, what, what, the good thing about the weekend there was actually they were very close proximity, weren't they? The, the two events were very near each other. Yeah. So you didn't have far to yeah. travel. In fact, when, no. And when we were doing the chairs down the beach for the wedding at about two, half past two, we were actually dancing around the chairs to the music we could hear from the live main stage at Pride further down the beach. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, yes. So, um, but going back, I remember, um, I will say when you first started up now, that was about, when did you first start your business? Is it three years, two years ago? Can't quite remember. The business is a year and a half now. Right. It's only a okay. year and a half. All oh, right. So when, when you were either thinking about it or just establishing, you set a table up for yeah. me at an exhibition, didn't you? Would you like to tell That's the right. people what you did for me? Mm-hmm. That was at the very beginning. Um, I was actually, first of all, just going along to craft shows and displaying 
centerpieces across the table of all different sorts of genres. So you had, um, say, a garden theme. You had, um, like, sunflowers in another one. It was all different along the table just to show people um, and try and get a little way into starting the business um, before I could do the wedding shows. Because obviously there is a list of so many companies on the island all doing different things to do with weddings. And it can be very difficult to get a place at the shows. Um, so I started off very small in the way of little craft shows. And that's where I met you again. And we reconnected mm -hmm. again, and you um, were saying to me about possibly having a piece on your business expo table at uh, Lakeside Wooten, um, and your favourite colour being purple. Uh, of course, we went along with that, and uh, I think I asked you if you liked like sparkle, which I think you said yes. I like sparkle. So you we can came, never I have. Up we with... can never have. To... Too much sparkle, <laughs> can you? <laughs> no, I agree with that. I agree with that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I, I made a piece, a glass vase filled with purple and white and silver. And um, I, I think quite a lot of people were saying to you, oh, that looks lovely um, on the day, which was great for me. That, that was the start, really, of something uh, for someone in the business. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yes. So that was good. And because because it was a business expo, I was obviously able to, to you know, to give your cards out and say, actually, you know, th yeah. this is this is what Joe does. <laughs> so that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Which was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And well, I did but you've get come... some people contact me from that. Good. So that was that was really a good start. And then, of course, more. Um, I think we didn't connect a lot between then and much more recently have we you know there was a bit of a gap no. between us connecting and now of course yeah. you've connected and been to some of the networking groups and um you yeah. know how have you found that and, and is it something you would recommend to other people i would definitely recommend it yes um i didn't know there was anything out there before that you could actually do and meet other people even out of business you know, people can go there who aren't actually in business themselves, but they just want to meet people and they want to make new friends and have something a bit different to talk about. You know, mm -hmm. um, I've connected with Sharon, obviously, who doesn't run a business. Um, we see each other once a week now and socially um, and um, other people through it, through the networking I've met at various occasions when I've been out shopping or whatever and we strike up a conversation obviously because we now we know each other and it's 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 broadened my group of friends which is absolutely fantastic and it boosts your confidence so much which I think anybody could do with a bit of that and um, actually I have to say it warms the cockles of my heart that's an expression my dad used to use but um, yes I set the network group up that you've now part of um, the all things networking group but um, I'm a facilitator but I don't make all those things happen it's then up to the rest of you to link and sometimes I will be having a business meeting in Love Coffee and then I notice that Joe has checked in or, or Jennifer will tell me that Joe yeah. and Sharon are having a meeting downstairs and it was through the group that they met and then I'll, I'll see that somebody else has tagged themselves meeting somebody out in the street and having those connections and it, I mean it's that the networking side of it which is you know how we came to now we come to be doing the interview now it wouldn't if you hadn't been back in the network group we wouldn't have perhaps have been connected. Um, and I, I, rec I talk about it like being a pebble in a pool and you drop the pebble in and it's actually seeing the ripples going, isn't it? And you don't know what's going to happen. Um, it's about seizing opportunities though too, isn't it? Because if you, you could come to those meetings and sit there and not engage with anybody and then go home with nothing. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. you're finding it quite comfortable, aren't you, with, uh, with meeting people? Hello, can you hear me? Sorry, I think we've lost connection. Oh, I think we've lost Joe for a minute. Joe, can you hear me? So um, we were just talking, Joe and I were just talking there. Hopefully she'll be back in a minute. Um, but we were just talking about 
um, the networking and, and the and really for businesses, but actually um, for, oh, hang on, I, I need to bring her back into the broadcast. Just a second, folks, she's dropped out, but she, I can hopefully bring her back in. But while she's coming back in, I was just saying it's it's um it's about connecting. Um, you know, n networking will bring an awful lot of power. Um, it, it brings people together for all sorts of different reasons. It isn't just about um, business. And a lot of um, a lot of people think it's quite scary, but actually it's not. And in our, in in the group that I run, particularly, I mean, there are lots of different groups, but in the group I run, it's. Um, it's a very relaxed and friendly group and we do a meet and greet so it's not scary at all i think the word is more scary so um you know it's just, we just meet and greet all the time and as i say lots of the businesses some of the businesses watching in now are members of the group it's a free group so anybody can come along whether you're in business or whether you're just um whether you're in business or whether you want to just be part of the community and get to know the other businesses because of course you know you don't have to be in business to to require joe's services you know you can connect with joe wait a minute she's having trouble getting coming in i'm going to try and see if i can bring her back in i think she's got connectivity issues so Right, so Joe, if you um, just a little advice from my techie person. If you're on Wi-Fi, sorry, just <laughs> yes. Hang on, I'm just bringing the technical department in. <laughs> so a little tip for you: if you're doing live streaming with a lot of internet connections, bar uh, white fiber, who d deliver massively, um, is if you're at home try to do it on your mobile data if the mobile data works in your area the mobile data will be faster with an up speed than your home internet generally so maybe t coming off the Wi-Fi and doing it uh, on your device on mobile data is actually a better connection thank you it's so great to have the technical department on hand like that um, so sorry He's not often here, but he happens to be here at the moment. So make use of him. Not only did he do that, but he's very good at making the coffee, but he forgot to put the milk in. <laughs> oh, have I? oh, sorry. He says I've run out of milk, so I have to go. <laughs> um, so anyway, right, Joe, so let's try once more, see if we can get you in um, again. And if not, we will wrap up this one now and we will put the links to Joe's business in. And I think, oh, Tristan's already, I think, popped them in for us. Um, so let's just give this one more spin. Um, while, while I'm just chatting and waiting for her to come back in, um, if anybody else is watching in and running a business who would like to be in the interview, uh, being interviewed, then please let me know. I can see Jason here in the broadcast. He is lined up to do tomorrow's interview. Um, so... Um, and I have somebody else for Saturday, so but I am looking for more people to interview. So if you'd like to um, know more about that, then send me a message and we can get something sorted. Um, it's a great way for people to learn about your business. And um, so, uh, you know, um, fantastic way. If you're if you're a little bit wary about going live on camera, um, then take a leaf out of Joe's book. I know she's having trouble getting back in. She's obviously got connection issues now. It's, it's, fa it's saying it's failed again. But she was a little bit concerned about going on camera. And I understand that because it was the same for me years ago before I started going, um, going well, first it was video and then live. And um, so recently she said, oh, I'm thinking about it. And I actually gave her a teensy nudge because it was actually social media day. And I said, why not go live? Why not come into the broadcast? So going live yourself personally, just you on camera might be more scary than actually coming into an interview. So when I said to Joe, why not come into my broadcast? She did that and she found that it was not, um, you know, it was not so scary as just coming in um, just doing on her own so anyway i'm going to wrap up now because actually um we are having difficulties getting joe back into the broadcast uh, we can possibly um broadcast with her later on if there's more to say i think we covered the essentials of what she does basically she can um dress a venue with all sorts of things um, you know whatever your venue is she can do um, all sorts of 
uh, things to make it your dream and if you don't know what you you know if you don't know what you want she will provide a service with helping you so she can decorate as I say she did my exhibition stand um, at, at a business expo um, and she's she's done wedding she did a wedding arch on the beach the other day she did the the um, decoration of the main stage at the pride event um, I know that she did something for somebody getting married recently all sorts of different things so really if you want to know what's possible get in touch and just have the discussion I'm pretty sure she, she does free discussions and then she tells you what's possible so um, why not get in touch with her if you are not planning an event but you know somebody else who is then please will you share her details and if you could share um, any links to these broadcasts then we can keep getting the word out about her all our fantastic local businesses and of course it's much nicer to to shop local to work with local businesses so thank you very much for coming into the broadcast sorry that we lost connection with joe but she had actually um, i think covered most of what she did the links are in the comments below i very much value your time coming in thank you so much and if you know if you yourself want to come into a broadcast or if you know anybody else who would like to do that please be in touch um, so thank you very much and we'll catch you on the next broadcast and the next one of the live interviews is tomorrow at four when it will be an interview with jason hills of squeaky clean thanks very much see you soon bye